Hey, what's up everyone at YouTube? Just received a spring compressor. Just arrived. Been gonna open it up. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the main component here. The bottle jack and this bracket right here. So now we have to assemble it. Okay, so this whole package comes with obviously the bracket with the bottle jack, a chain link, brackets to secure the bottle jack to the floor, also a pedal so that you can use your foot to actuate the bottle jack, the release for the bottle jack, the little another pedal, also these two brackets. This is the lower bracket that secures the bottom um, bracket to compress the spring and that's for the upper bracket to compress the spring and it comes with two different sizes of brackets to compress the springs and that's all it came with it so let's start assembling so I'm going to start installing these brackets to stabilize this whole assembly we're gonna use a 14 inch oh I'm sorry 14 metric socket and also a wrench We're gonna use a 17 metric for the nut and a 14 metric for the socket. Okay, so we're gonna install the pedal, foot pedal for the bottle jack. Then the release pedal for the bottle jack. Make sure you put the cotter pin in. Well, you know what? We'll tie this up in a little while. Now let's install this bracket here. This is the larger bracket. That's the lower part for the bracket that compresses the spring, the lower spring. So let's take a look at it. Get a better view of it. Bottle jack goes in here, inserts in here. And this is where the bracket for the spring goes, right here. So let's install it. It's also got these... Uh, rollers here metal rollers so they can slide in and up and down on this bracket right here so it goes in like so make sure the bottle jack inserts into this bracket piece install the bolt the 12 metric there we go okay so this is the upper bracket this is where the bracket for the upper part of the coal spring gets compressed right here and the nut is a 19 metric bolt heads a 17 metric it's inserted onto the bracket here or square tubing and i'm going to place it right here so that the bottle jack doesn't have to travel so much. Hopefully I can get by with that. I'm not gonna really tighten it up very tight. Just as long as these bolts are secure. Because I may have to adjust. All right, we're good. Now let's install the covers. All right, 
So, we got the brackets. I'm going to choose these because this is what I'm going to need for my struts. These bolts are the same size, a 17 head, a 19 metric nut. I'm gonna probably open it up, so I'm just gonna hand tighten them. As long as they're secured, we're good to go. All right, so on the illustration of the instructions, that sheet to assemble this, um, it says that there is a, a hole here and a hole here to mount these its chains for safety purposes, and it doesn't have it. Now, this did come from China, however, uh, I think it's going to work pretty good, so I'll just modify it myself and probably put it here and discuss it right here that's welded onto this bracket. And down here, I'll find a spot somewhere just to make sure that it's safe. But other than that, I think it's ready to go. So let's give it a try. I have to tighten up these bolts to secure this bottle jack onto the bracket here before we get started. The bottom nut is a 14 metric, the top is a 12. So let's test this out. We'll release the pressure. So I ran into a situation that I wasn't really familiar with, but um, the bottom jack doesn't automatically go down. It needs a little bit of weight. So when you release and push pressure down, bring that bottle jack back down so it can reset itself, and then it'll start to work. So just wanna let you know if you run into this same situation. I placed a spring compressor outside my garage and placed it over concrete blocks. I needed the height. If you notice, the strut is pretty lengthy, so I needed some height so that I'm able to take the strut out of its location. You will notice the strut's already in place and the spring's already compressed. Now I remove the nut that secures the strut to the strut mount and the strut is now off of its position. Next, I'm going to remove the strut mount. Before we go any further, let's remove the strut out the way. I'm going to use a pry bar to remove the rubber mount out of the spring coil. Notice the spring compressor hides securing the spring coil safely. I'm going to install the new strut mount. I'm going to install the new strut. Before I completely torque the nut for the strut mount, I'm just going to make sure that my strut mount is aligned properly. The nut at the strut mount is fully torqued. And now let's release the pressure out of the spring compressor. The coil spring was securely tight onto the couplers that it was easier for me to remove the couplers out of the tool. Be careful when you're working with coil springs and you're trying to compress them. It can be very dangerous and it can really cause bodily damage to you. So this video was meant to review this product that I purchased in Amazon. I paid $176 and uh, with taxes it was 190 and uh, I wanted to test it out, show you how to assemble it if you decide to buy one of these. I'm not affiliated with any company. I just want to just help out somebody out there that is in the same situation as I am, trying to be on a budget, finding the highest quality tool with the lowest cost, and yet still feel safe because I love my face and I love my life. So I want to make sure that when I'm compressing these springs, on these struts that you know I feel safe and this tool made me feel safe I feel secured um, a lot better than using those cheap clamps that you put on the side of the coils where they break off so 
Anyways, hope this video helped you out here and gives you an idea uh, to purchase one of these things right here. I'm not affiliated to, with any company, just trying to help out somebody out there. See you later.